Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to see how we can create a plan before starting the modeling process. Using this method, we can create various tipos of models more quickly and objectively, from simple object like this, or complex model like this. In this video, we will create the plane of a simple model, so that we can understand the process. So, let's get started. First, open the reference image of the model that will be created in an image editor. In this video, I'm using the Photoshop. The link to the efforts is in the video description. To start in the planning, we can create a new layer. I'm going to adjust the brush size to 5 and choose the color of the lines. In this case, I'm going to choose a shade of blue. Now, analyzing the reference, we see that the model is not completely symmetrical. The drain hole is not in the center of the sink. Only the top holes are centered. But don't worry, we are going to create the symmetrical model and then adjust the position of the hole. So, let's start by creating a central line and a side line, dividing the model into four pieces. We will work on just one part and then use symmetry to mirror the shape. From the ads, I will use three vertices, so let's create that. Let's do the same in the lower part. Holding down Shift K, you can create straight lines. In this part, we will create curves with three ads again. Since we have two jointed curves, we will have six points. For the next curve, we will create 5 points and complete the lower part. We will repeat the process in the upper part just to identify the separation. For the hole in the center, we use a semicircle with 5 vertices. For circles, I normally use 9 vertices, but for this project, I will create one with 8 vertices, optimizing for this model. In the side of the tub, we repeat the number of points from the upper part. Here, we'll do it just to fill out the plane a little more. In the modeling, we'll extrude the upper part, creating this mesh automatically. Now that we have the main lines created, let's create the few lines. I'm going to create a new layer and change the brush color to make it easy to see. Decrease the brush size a little. In this step, we are going to fill the model by connecting the points we created with the main lines. To start, let's outline the location of some main points. Let's do this in the same circle. We'll take advantage of these and connect the Zs on the sides and the same on the top. Here, I'm going to adjust the distance better just to have a well-distributed mesh. Now, let's move on the other circle. Let's connect the eight edges of the circle. The idea here is to use the points created previously and complete the mesh. Let's move on the other side. Here, we have the curve with three vertices. Let's keep this so that the flow of the shape works correctly. 
we continue to connect the points now we don't have created Here we have another edge where the shape changes direction, so let's create an outline around these edges. To finish our mesh planning, we will fill the interior by connecting the points with those that we have already been created. Don't worry about keeping the mesh perfect. Remember that this is a just plane. During the model, we will organize the space between the face better. And this was the final result of our planning. In the next video, we will show you the process of modeling your object. We will see that with pure planning, it's much easier to model regardless of the software. I hope you enjoyed the contents. See you next time. Bye! Subscribe to the channel, it's very important.